Greetings, Japan. I am G.I. Joe, the once and future Cobra Commander. In 1986, you were first beholden to my story. The story of Cobra Commander. Who you have all known so well for a very long time. And it might surprise you that I happen to have been born in 1987. And the story of Dragon Ball. Your story. No, uh, okay. How do I? How do I? In the sets. God damn it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Greetings, Japan. It is I, the soldier of fortune known as G.I. Joe. And I would like to invite you and your representative on a quest to save the world and find the four star Dragon Ball. For you all know my story. In the year 1986, you were beholden to the story of the Dragon Ball. And the guy who it centered around was me, born in 1987. And I've lived your story. But what is this Dragon Ball? It is a treasure, hidden by an evil pirate king, so that no one could find it, unless they were pure of heart, totally evil, and used it for good, because it, the Dragon Ball was left with a choice. Destruction. Or infinity! I think the choice is pretty obvious. I demand only one thing. For your representative to join me on this quest that when we find this treasure and we open it up and there truly is destruction and infinity before you that you cry out your choice so that all the world may know that in the heart of another a brighter future will be happening and so I would like to introduce you, over some time, to characters that are real. In my evilness, I have found wisdom. The wisdom to bring back the dead. And... 
when I am done introducing you to the people you all know so well. The real people. These secrets may one day be in the possession of the whole world. I will first tell you of Bulma. Bulma. Bulma is actually a real person. And yes, if your representative plays his cards right, you all in Japan most certainly be able to meet her. She really does talk like that, kind of drawn out and pronounced. Um, it's, it's not specifically like that, but in a way like that. Uh, it, um, Reminds me of, uh, you know, the first gentle words that I had heard. And so, the way that she talks is kind of soothing to me. And I figured I'd share that. Bulma and I, as you know, have gone on all kinds of adventures. And yes, Bulma and I were very naughty. <laughs> uh, yes, it's true. Perhaps some more on the person known as Bulma later. But it is true. I really was afraid of cars. And then I learned how to defeat them. She will tell you this. As well as many other things for which you told the story before I was even born. And those things were very out of our control back then, I can assure you. <laughs> 